beautiful people my name is Miss Taku and welcome back to Witchwood we did the rat last time and now we're gonna do the fish and I actually didn't accidentally start the fish last time so we are good to go if I can remember where it is the rat was a good one the rat was I mean there was a straight murder in that one which I am a little bit of a fan of I'm a little bit of a fan of you know, for the sheep, we just threw color. <laughs> we threw color and he got angry. Oh, I love it. Oh, is the dog's there too. What would the dog say? Do we know what the dog says? Thanks for all your help. I don't even remember what I gave the dog's voice. But I think the dog's is over here. And the dog's is a cool one too. So the dog's, I think, takes you to a whole different area, if I remember correctly. Like, it's definitely something that we have not seen before. Which I guess works for all the chapters, but I don't know. Maybe this one's cooler. I am a big fan of sea creatures. Not this one, though. <laughs> I am a big fan of sea creatures, so maybe that's why I'm a little fond of this one. I don't know which one's my favorite chapter, though, overall. I excuse me, can you spare any seashells? I tried all along the beach, but everyone else always gets to them before I can. She points along the shoreline where you see scores of fishermen digging in the sand. Every so often, one of them discovers a seashell and rejoices as if it were a gold nugget. Seashells? What's the big deal with seashells? The little girl looks down at the do down the docks to a particularly large ship at, at anchor. See that big boat over there? My dad's the captain. He was supposed to come ashore and tell me all about his adventures on the high seas, like he always does. But he hasn't come out since they docked. So I tried to go and see him, but there's a grouchy sailor who says I can't go inside the boat unless I got seashells. So I tried to find some, but now everyone else is trying to find them too. There's not enough left for me. Hmm, sounds fishy, all right. You stay here, little one. Let me have a chat with this sailor and get to the bottom of this. Really? Oh, I bet he'll listen to a grown-up like you. I promise I won't move a muscle. Haha, <laughs> muscle. Get it? New chapter, the fish. Let's go uh, up here. Him? Are you the guy? This is a tiny ship. Whoa there! Where do you think you're hobbling off to? Me? Why, well, I've come to visit my uh, son. Ah, no you ain't. The only family anyone on this tub has it has is the sea herself. No one gets aboard unless they pay the toll in seashells first. What's a gold brain swabby like you want with a bunch of dirty seashells? It ain't for me. The captain got his own business with them shells, and I ain't one to question him. So either bring me your dues or cast off. Bring me seashells, the nice kind too. Ones that sound like the ocean waves. Oh, okie dokie, you pain in the booty. Alright, I also have my dog in the... Huh? What about your bed over there? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Alright. Hello. 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 Alrighty. Seashells. 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 Seashells in here? Are they in here? She said that they were digging, right? What else would give seashells? Would this give seashells? I doubt it. No, this gives barnacles. Seashells, seashells. Do I have to pickpocket? Is that what we're doing? Pickpocketing for some shells? I doubt he has it. Oh, I know you don't have it. Get away. What about them? He's been standing. <laughs> He's been spending uh, too much time in the salty air. I don't know if he would have any. She did say that some were digging up here. Or is that just part of the lore? I think that was just part of the... I think that was just part of the lore. Are y'all digging up seashells? Huh? Can I have? Where does this go? Oh, to the market. Oh, it's. Oh my gosh. Steal seashells from Fisherfolk. It only took me forever to figure that out. Um. So I need the pluck pocket. I have to make five of those? Uh, that's. Uh. Ooh, that's expen. Oh my gosh, that's so expensive. I have to make five? Five? All right, let's make a crab trap. And then... 
There we go. Alright, well, let, oh, please give me two claws. Ah! Go on that. One claw! Oh, this is gonna be a day. Are there pickpocketers in the market? I hope so. I don't want to walk all the way back to the village, so please. There has to be pickpocketers in the market. That makes the most sense. Anyone here trying to steal? Anyone? There he is. I think he needs, what, a shiny lure? Yeah. Uh, there. I don't have fireflies? What? That sounds impossible. I, like, always caught the fireflies. Okay. Sure. That makes a whole a whole bunch of sense. Uh, the force. No, that's the swamp. Why do I always do this? Okay. Okay. This is four. Should I get enough to make five? I think I should. I don't see... Oh, man. I don't see... Uh... I shouldn't. So how many do I need in order to make five of these? I need ten. I have five. I think there was one more in a corner? How do I open my map? It never tells me to open my map. Tab. Ah, I remember. Yeah, here. Okay. Then I can collect some materials on the way. But man, five? That's insane. They at least better drop two shells each. Like, I'm gonna make- I'm gonna gra gather enough materials for one. But if it really is five, they- who, who? We in we in the crafting zone now. We in the crafting zone. 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 Okay, we're back. I finally made got enough materials. But let's see. Does he drop one or two gloves? Oh, he drops one. Okay, I don't want to cry a little bit. Let's go to. Where's the beach from here? Let's go to the beach. My nose bothers me so much. Oh my gosh. I don't know what happened, um, but something happened in my nose, like a blister or something, and it hurts so bad, so I'm sorry if I uh, look a little strange with my nose today. <laughs> it's a lot better than it was before, which I'm very thankful for. Um, but yeah, my nose is a little, it's like itchy pain. I don't know how to describe You know what, you guys probably don't even care, so I'm not even going to talk about it anymore. Uh, anywho, let's make some pickpocketing sticks. I didn't realize I needed bone too. Oh, I did drop two gloves. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, maybe it's not as bad as I think. Pluck. Give me. <gasps> you dropped three? You dropped four? Did you drop five? Did, you, did she pick up one? Oh my gosh, this makes life so much easier. Where is a crab? I am about to murder a crab. Freaking four seashells. I'm rich, dude. All I had to do was just steal. Oh my gosh, life is so easy when you're a thief. Uh, craft. Uh, well, you're next to that big boy. I don't want to miss with the big boy. I'll take him over here. Oh my gosh, you do drop five! Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. No, don't pick him up! Uh -huh. <laughs> He's like, oh. Where are my shells? I got ten. I got six from him? Dude. I better get, like, the king cabin with all this. <laughs> Sniffle. Alright, I got your shells. Bring me these shells. Here you go. You hold out your collection of shells for the sailor to inspect. Ah, a fine booty. <laughs> Excuse me. Go on and take them in to the captain. And he'll see your family compensated for your services. Ooh, ooh -hee. Oh, I realized the sail had a swordfish. That's cool. What's going on in here? Oh, I can't pickpocket you guys? Well, this game sucks. Locked. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, is that her mom? Oh, she's so pretty. A dapper fish sits beside a horde of seashells, obsessing e over each one like a jeweler. He grabs the nearest one and runs his finned fingers carefully over the shell's spines. Bringing the, sh the seashell to his lips, he blows a low trumpeting note. His bulbous eyes light up with hope as if waiting for something to happen. An uneventful moment passes and he tosses the disappointing shell aside. Arr! You useless piece of flotsam. He grabs the next shell on the pile. This one. It's gotta be this one. 
<clears throat> I'm looking for the captain of this ship. The fish's eyes swivel at you suspiciously. Eh? Are you daft? Can't you see my big hat? I am the captain. You don't look much like the father of that little red-headed girl on the docks. Oh, then you must be talking about my predecessor. Tragic, really. The fish shakes his head and blows sad bubbles from his pipe. He grabs the nearest shell and runs his finned fingers carefully over its spines. What happened? Poor bloke went overboard during a nasty typhoon. We tried to fish him out of the drink, but I'm afraid to say he's with old Davy Jones now. As his trusty first mate, it was my responsibility to take up his mantle. He had just over- I also don't know what voice I'm giving him, just be patient with it. He had just his oversized hat with pride. Now, you best have something for me, or else you wouldn't be wasting my time. You mean these seashells? The deckhand outside said you'd pay for them. There you go! The fish tears the shells out of your hands with such force that you nearly lose your footing. He brings the first shell to his lips and blows on it so hard that speaks of slime goo- What? That specks of slime goo go flying everywhere. It makes a pathetic squealing whistle. <laughs> the fish slumps back down into his fat red chair, tossing aside the shell with a sharp disdain. Cursed rubbish! I'll never find it! Find what? If you're looking to pick up a musical instrument, you're sure going to ha you're sure going about it in a funny way. Never you mind what? Never you mind what? Just bring me Is it is that supposed to say that? I just need to stop being confused. Just bring me more seashells! He flicks an odd coin shaped object at your feet. Uh thanks. What's this? I just traded you a bunch of sea a bunch of shells. It's the currency of the future! If you get in on the ground floor, you'll be richer than Stag Prince when I'm in charge of things. So if you want to be set for life, you just bring me some more seashells. Hmm, I think I'll manage my own investments, thank you. A shame I'll have to bring- I'll have to break the bad news to the child about her father. Oh, is her child- is her dad actually dead? I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, she's definitely the daughter of the girl the thing. Did you get inside the boat? Have you seen my doll? I'm afraid to inform you that your father was lost at sea. What? That that's impossible. He's the captain, and a captain never abandons his ship. Who told you that he was lost? Is that slimy first mate, the fish? As a matter of fact, it was. Why? Of course, that explains why everyone is collecting seashells. He's trying to find the conch. He's swindling everyone in town. Oh, he's swindling everyone in town just so they'll help him find a conch show? It's not just any conch. My dad used to tell a story to all those who'd listen. One night, during a terrible storm, a handsome young sailor fell overboard. As he sank down into the sea, a beautiful mermaid came to his rescue. She brought him back to the shore beneath the, a lighthouse. It was love at first sight, but alas, they couldn't be together. She had fins and he had feet. But they made a special promise. Whenever he missed her, sweet voice, he'd stand under the lighthouse and blow an enchanted conch. No matter where she was, she'd hear the sound and come to see him. That way they could be together, even if only for a moment. Isn't that romantic? <laughs> It's just a silly fairy tale, girl. But that gross fish believes it! I bet he thinks he can make the mermaid fall in love with him if he gets the conch. They both got fins, after all. And maybe Dawes still out there. Maybe he got rescued by a mermaid, just like in the story. Oh, please. You have to find the conch before the fish does. It might be the only way to find my doll. If the fish has everyone in town combing the beach for this thing, what makes you think I'll have a better chance? Maybe they're all looking in the wrong place? The sailor in the story lived in a lighthouse, not on the beach. Aww. Also, is that fish alive? It is. <laughs> How is that fish surviving? I guess the same way as that one. There is a lighthouse somewhere. Is, is that the lighthouse? That's not the lighthouse. The lighthouse is up here. Wait, what's over here? Lagoon? Lagoon dinghy? I want to go in the lagoon dinghy. Whoa. Maybe. 
maybe I'm not supposed to go here first. Oh, whoopsies! Whoopsies! I'll just go over to the lighthouse. I mean, it makes the most sense. No one ever listens to the story, huh? It was right there in the clues. Also, why isn't he looking for it? Like, what are these guys gonna get in payback? A thousand sand dollars for everyone. Uh, oh, down here. Uh, hello. Anything in here? Oh, this old lighthouse has seen better days. Although it towers high above the pier, the paint has faded and the windows have crusted over with layers of salt. The door refuses to budge. Growths of barnacles and corals seem to have sealed it shut. You put your ear to the keyhole and hear an unmistakable roar of the ocean inside. Oh. With your face close to the door, you spot words carved into the weathered wood. Lengthy, babbling prose about love, loss, and the sea. Blech, what a terrible- po oh, what terrible poetry. But mayhaps it's some forlorn magic left here by the old lighthouse keeper? Well, I don't have the time to go fishing for long lost keys. A good dose of love juice ought to open up any embittered heart. Love juice? Oh, love potion. Oceanic oil. Key to my heart. That's a cute item. Where is it? Where is the key? Whatever the nature of desire may be, this is the instrument of unlocking. Oh, and I need a skeleton key for it. So this is the item I need, right? I'm assuming. Let me take the... Oh. Uh. Okay, alright. Yeah, I guess so. Love potion. Triad food? Oceanic oil. Deep one? Is that the- <laughs> Is that the guy? Is that these fish- fish people? I like to think they're like the- they remind me of the- I forgot, like the swamp enemies from Don't Starve Together. Hehe, <laughs> so ugly. Uh, you need title tincture. Go away! I don't want to deal. Are you chasing me? No, he's not. He's just walking the same direction as me. Uh, skipper scale, weird water, jar of water. Can make a jar. I doubt I can fill it with water here, though. Okay, so weird water, skipper scale, soothing rune. So perfect potion. Jar of water! Let's go! So perfect potion. Where is that? I'm just gonna. Okay. Jar of water. Okay. Uh, and spirit salts, unveiling powder. Let's make that. Then we can make the spirit salts. Okay. We need to go get water for that. And then we need. What do we need for the skipper's. Scales. Where is the skipper? I need to inspect him. Uh, no, wait, there has to be one. Yeah, there he is. Crap shot. Oh, I have one. Here you go. For you. Enjoy your new little hub. Why does it implode them? <laughs> like, what is that crab trap? So that's enough skipper scales. Can make the soothing rune stone. Okay, so let's just go get some water. Some water. Is there a graveyard? I feel like this is the easiest place to go. Village. Actually, the village, there's a well not far from the village center, right? So maybe that's the best spot to look for it. This place is huge, though. This place is massive. Excuse me. To the village we go! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Wait, can I fill water here? No, not here. Uh, I need to fill it. Here. That's right, okay. So that's all that, and that's all just to make one thing to kill the guy. Uh, so perfect potion. Good, yummy, delicious. Weird water. Good, yummy, delicious. Make this. Make this this that be oh yeah it's just one okay and then i need to go to the forest and i think a cinder box was what killed or what made the dryad fruit drop i think that's what it was i'll have to see but i'm gonna go take care of this fish first what's he gonna do turn him into like a tiny little guy that's so cute i want to see him turn into a tiny little guy where are you? 
Prepare to be tiny. Oh, transform. Am I about to transform you, bro? <laughs> You're so small. That's so cute. Okay. I will go and get the other materials then. And I will be back. If I can figure out where the teleporter is. Why do I lose sense of where everything... This app map is probably the most confusing for me. I cannot figure out where I'm going. There we go. Bye! Okay, I think I have absolutely everything. Um, I had to go to the graveyard, get the skeleton head, uh, which is also known as a skull. Thanks, Vanessa, you're so smart. And I got the dryad fruit, and I think that was all I needed. Um, now I just have to craft it all. So, I need this. Oh, I need barnacles. Barnacles! I need barnacles. Here we go. Uh, let me get these two. You know, you know, the more the merrier. Who knows? Maybe I need extra barnacles for inside. Okay, so we got the oceanic oil painstakingly collected from the minuscule quantities secreted away across ocean life. That is a sentence. Got the love potion. Little more than a balm to encourage fondness, but often that's all it takes. And I can make the skeleton key. When the skeleton applies itself, no lock can stand in its way. Useful against mimics. Yeah, we know that. And here we go. So pretty! Here we go! Oh. The rusty lock makes a sound like a sloppy kiss as you turn the key inside it. Bubbling and creaking, the aged metal hinges protest as years of grime dissolve away. The wooden door swing o swings open to reveal a wall of emerald seawater. You can see fish swimming about inside, but not a drop crosses the threshold. What? Oh my, the entire lighthouse must be filled up like a bottle. You prod the salty aperture with your finger, sending ripples along the surface. Then, as if you pulled a stopper from the tub, the water begins to drain. Slowly at first, but quickly building ferocious speed, the waves cascade around you. You catch notes of, trumpeting, of a trumpeting sound looming, droning above the crashing swells. The music turns to a soft whisper as the last of the flood is sucked away, leaving the inside of the lighthouse damp and encrusted with stranded sea life. You bend down to examine the source of the drainage. A golden conch shell is wedged between the waterlogged floorboards. <laughs> you put the conch to your ear. It sounds as if an entire ocean is contained within it. Ah, what a marvel. I wonder if the mermaid will still answer its call. After all this time, the child's story is said to blow it out over the water under the lighthouse. Uh, here? Let's see! Oh. Standing at the end of the pier, you blow into the conch. You feel a swarm breeze. A, a swarm breeze? A warm breeze pass through the salty waves and uplift your spirits. A crystal clear trumpeting note rings out from the shell and seem to still the ocean waters to a mirror shine. Sweet laughter chimes like a bell in response and a shadowy shape approaches from the depths below. Oh, she's pretty. An enormous full-bodied figure breaches the stillness of the water. Hello, full-bodied figure. Throwing her hair back joyfully and extending her arms out to the sun, she thrusts her body up onto an outcropping of rocks, splashing her long fing tail in the waves. Aha! <laughs> oh, hey, mama! How you doing? As the mermaid speaks, her voice is operatic. Well, I'm not doing that. My gift, my gift, lain silent for years. Now sounds again, sad music from my ears. My lover, long gone, but their memory still sweet. I thank you for the nostalgia. What would you entreat? I'm looking for a man lost at sea. He was the captain of that tall ship over there. You point to the high sails looming over the docks. I don't suppose you've had any dealings with him? This man I've seen, though his fate is not known. Placed on a plank, overboard he was thrown. Downward he plunged, though not to the bottom. No, a great serpent swam up from the deep end. Got him. He was pushed overboard. 
That grubby fish told me he was lost in a storm! Did you see where this leviathan got to? The lagoon by the shore holds a secret below. Send away the tides and the serpent will show. Keep that conch close, blow it and I, sh and I shall abide. I'll bring the strength of the sea to your side. With her song finished, she blows you a wet kiss and starts preening her hair with a spiny seashell. <laughs> Alright, see you later, mama. Thank you. The lagoon, that's where we were uh, before I went up to the lighthouse. So that is easy to find for me. <laughs> she's so funny! An operatic show, she's like full on like, like opera show? I don't know how anyone could do that. Seeing that happen, like, I haven't seen it in real life, but like, the videos of it is shocking. I, the fact that a human voice could go in that, uh, in that way, if that makes sense. So beautiful. Sound the conch at the lagoon. Oh, I'm bringing her over here now? Well, I mean, I mean, okay, you know. Hey, little mama! You wanna come over here? You take a deep breath and press the conch to your lips. Its clarion calls echoes across the rippling tide. You feel the waves swell around your feet, reverberating with the sound of the conch. The water disappears so fast that you're unsure if the tides are receding to, into the ocean, or if the seafloor itself is rising from the depths. Oh. What? When the waters recede, you look across the island to a yawning cave opening. From within, you sense the steady rhythm of an enor of enormous breaths. Enormous breaths. I cannot talk anymore. I lost my sight. Whoa. So pretty. Oh, look at all the skippers and crabs. In here? Oh. Lagoon arbitrage? Whoa. So pretty! Whoa! That's a big boy! That's a big boy! Ooh. What? What is it? Oh. He's like, uh, what is it? Yorming? Yorming Gander? Like the big snake? Whoa! Hello! Your nose is funny! You're huge! Hello! Oh! You can't help but shudder under the powerful gaze of the monstrosity before you. A booming voice sounds throughout the cavern as if you were in a very in the very throat of the beast. Who dares enter my sanctum? I I have come looking for a man lost at sea. The coils of the serpent shudder and wheeze. You brace yourself as the creature reels back and unleashes a cough loud enough to shatter our mountain. Excuse you. <laughs> <laughs> Have you caught ill, Master Serpent? You landwalkers are all alike, forever throwing your refuse into my waters. I have been poisoned by your insufferable detritus. My stomach aches. My insides burn. What's the matter? Did you swallow something you shouldn't have? I have swallowed many things. You should not be here, land creature. Now, now, you're not well, and I may be able to help you. Open up that gob of yours and let me take a look inside. Let me see that gob. Perhaps you have come to strike the final blow against me. Why should I trust you? You're being dramatic. I'm not going to hurt you, but if you don't let me take a look inside your belly, the sickness will surely fester. Doubtful, but perhaps I could humor you if you prove that you are a friend to the ocean. Answer me these riddles three. Only then will I trust your words, Landwalker. The first of my questions. You pull my waters from the ground to quench your thirst. What manner of beast sits atop the well of your forest? It's not a dra- I think it's an octopus. Another question! You may bury your dead in earth, but there is no escape from the call of the deep. Whose watery gaze watches over your graveyard? I think it's a mermaid. I think. Because I think last video I mentioned- I, I brought up the mermaid. The final question! You landwalkers desire gold all over all over all things. 
But in front of your banking house, what creature rules with true happiness? Break. Uh, I'm gonna take a guess and say whale. I, a clam? I'm kind of close to clam, but this isn't SpongeBob, so I can't. A whale. Dang it. I think the- I think that one's the wrong one. You have answered incorrectly! Wait, wait. Let me try again. My memory isn't the steel trap it used to be. Uh, I think we were right about the other two. But I'm gonna double check. I think. I really- didn't he have a teleporter there? I think I just messed up. I think there was a teleporter there. Now I'm walking all the way back. Great. The village bank. Was it a clam? Was it a clam when I messed up? If it's a clam, I'm gonna be upset and I think I'm gonna just go and... S no, I should probably check the other places. I don't wanna walk constantly back. <laughs> you almost got me. You almost got me, but you didn't. Uh, here we go. Force well, I swear that's an octopus. Is it a clam? Where's the village bank? Are you the village bank? No, it is a whale. Cause this is the bank, yeah. Stop it! Leave me alone. You got? Did you take something of mine? Uh, did he take something of mine? Yeah, this is definitely the bank. Unless there's something. No, what creature? Rude! Rude! Oh, wait. What okay, creature? Is it what creature's in front of the village? Okay, eagle whale. Eagle whale. So that means I messed up somewhere. Maybe it wasn't an octopus? I'm so set on it was a serpent- or a mermaid in the graveyard. Right? Where's the graveyard? It's right here. Okay, I'll just go here and then I can teleport out. So, bank was the whale and eagle, but it didn't give an eagle. It gave, what was the options? Clam, something else, uh, whale. So what's over here? I'm telling you, it was a mermaid. It is! So I messed up the well? Did I mess up on the well and is it not an octopus? I think it was an octopus. I swear it was an octopus. It was not an octopus. <laughs> it was not an octopus. It was a fish. Oh, my bad. Well, time to walk back and answer his questions. Where did I get octopus from? Because I swear, like I, I have a, a distinct image of an octopus in my head. I just have no idea. Fish. It was definitely not a dragon. Uh, mermaid. Whale. So I was, I was two for three. The enormous creature rolls back its yellow eyes, bellowing with laughter. The laughter quickly succumbs to a- Sorry. Another bout of violent coughing. Curse my miserable body. Can I not even enjoy a moment of levity? It appears I was mistaken about you, Landwalker. You have proven yourself worthy of my trust. The beast opens wide its ca opens wide its cavernous jaws, filling the air with a fishy stench. Ooh. Enter, but heed my warning. Break your word and I will digest you without hesitation. Are we gonna figure out the captain? Know if I want to go in now. I'm not. I'm not really. Oh, <laughs> inside. It, yeah. I. What are those noises? <laughs> what are those noises? Oh, hello. There's someone actually uh in here. Oh, this is Papa. Papa's making a campfire, and that's why he's hurting. Oh, hey, don't tell me that overgrown eel gobbled you up as well. Come and warm yourself by the fire. We ain't going anywhere soon. You look at the throbbing red walls of the monster's stomach and notice the discoloration and spotting. The campfire smoke is surely cause the cause of the beast's ailment. Ah, actually, I came here looking for you, Captain. Eh? How'd you know I was a captain? 
There's a little minnow waiting on the docks for her father. Oh, my little girl. My heart and joy. I promised I'd see her as soon as we anchored, but I never got the chance. Has it got anything to do with that fishy fellow captaining your ship? Raising his arms in anger, the man stomps on his on his feet on the fleshy floor. The outburst caused cause the serpent another coughing fit, rocking you back and forth. That rotten son of a barnacle! We were just a few weeks from home when he conspired to mutiny. Ever since I told him the tale of the mermaid and her conch, he got this hungry look in his eye. I ain't never seen someone so obsessed. So he and the other bad apples jumped me in the night and tied me up, the rest of my trusty crew as well. Then that floppin' flounder made us walk the plank to the briny deep. <laughs> I was praying to Neptune and he must have answered my call. This great bloody serpent swallowed me up and saved me from drowning. Been stuck in here ever since. Can't seem to get out, but the fire keeps me from going all the way through the other end, at least. Though, with that metal head of yours, you ought to have no trouble, uh, passing through without much fuss. Just what I needed today. <laughs> Say, all that smoke is causing our host great discomfort. I'm sure you'd both be happier if you parted ways. How'd you suppose we do that? Let me see what I can cook up with that fire pit of yours. Ooh, we can add some pepper. If one were to build up enough irritants, the beast may be provoked to explosively ex ex into explosively expelling the sores. Aller allergenic potpourri. Royal essence, potion of light. Okay, I mean, why can't- <laughs> The out, the way out? Wait a minute. So I can't crawl back up? I have to go out of his booty? <laughs> That's so funny. How do I make this? Rat tail? Oh, I get it. Because dog hair and uh, cat hair. But what about rat tails? What? How is anyone allergic to rat tails in specific? Um, potion of light. Potion of light. Potion of light. Potion of light. Here we go. Oh, sweet. I can make one. Let's go. Uh, royal essence. Okay. Witch spies. Got that. Smoke pellet. Let's go. Soporific potion. Okay. Ooh, shoot. Um, alright. Cat hairball. I have no I did no wait, I needed a snap trap for the rat. I can do that, but I actually have no idea for the cat unless it's one of it's probably one of these two, actually. Uh unesthetic but invokes a ravenous desire in those of a particular plate, useful against cats. Oh, I have to get oh, I have to get more jars then. A fish. Dang it! So I have to fish? Or which one? Which is which? Which one do I use? I guess it depends, right? We'll see. Alright, out the booty we go. That noise! <laughs> you don't have to open your mouth all the time. Reminds me of- I've been playing a lot of Destiny 2. Lately, that's like my game I do by myself um, without recording. Last wish, that's what I'm trying to get at. Last wish read. Uh, it reminds me whenever you uh, shoot Riven <laughs> and crawl in her mouth. I think it's so funny. I actually got the Riven plushie. It's, it's so cute. Love it. I love Riven so much. I think Riven's my favorite Destiny character. Character. Or boss, I guess. No, because she was cool. Because uh, Season of the Wish, right? One of the recent seasons that went by when she was a ghost. That's a cool season. That was a really cool one. That was actually the season I jumped back into the game. And I'm very happy I did. I would have been very upset if I missed it. I didn't get my Titan the armor though. Oh, I wish I did. But I did see rats in here. Um, when I was digging up stuff. Uh, when I was getting that skull. I did see a rat come out of these mounds. So I guess I just have to see which mound it's going to come out of. Uh, come on. Well, now you're embarrassing me, game. Can I please? A rat? Are there rat? Oh, maybe there's rats downstairs, too. There's probably rats where we killed um, the rat in the church. Maybe? Is it really not going to give me a rat? Brother. 
really? <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I can, I can easily just, like, not do all this. There was, um, aren't there rat nests? There's rat nests in the village. And in the market, yeah? Oh, let me fill this up. Thank you. There's, um, yeah, there's rat nests in the village. Yeah. Will that give me rat tails? Oh, I'm sure. Actually, maybe? Oh, I don't know now. Disgusting event. I don't! We'll see. Are you gonna give me rat tails? No, but you'll be here though. Hey, go on that. Sorry to scare you. Yeah! There we go. Okay, so much easier. Um, and now we need cats. Hello, kitty. Okay, so you need a cat treat, which means I think I need to go get fish. And milk! Ugh! Oh, right. Okay, um, let me craft, where is it? Fishing line, fishing line, where, it? okay. Fishing, what? Am I? There it is. Oh yeah, because it looks like a spaghetti. <laughs> it looks like spaghetti and a single meatball. Okay, I'll go fish and get the other things. And I will, um, and I will be back, I guess, with all the materials. And then we'll go back into the big buddy, and then we'll get pooped out again. Alright, wish.com, Jormungandr, let me get in that gob. <laughs> Inside. I got all the allergens! Yippee! Okay, uh, I don't wanna... If you're worried, yeah, okay, there we go. Potion of Blight. You set the smelly preparations beside the fire. Uh, incense, you set the smelly... Oh. Okay. Smelly preparations. All right. You pile the eye-watering ingredients on the campfire and fan the flames. Soon, black smoke billows up the and fills every nook and cranny with its stinging odor. The captain scratches his nose and stifles a great sneeze. Whew! That's quite a concoction. The serpent will feel more than a tickle in his throat. You feel a deep rumbling through the fleshy floor. Get ready to set sail, captain. We'll be out of here soon enough. You kick up the smoky coil coals, spreading the aggravating haze into a rubbling quake. Uh, knocks you onto your, wait, what? What? Spreading the aggravating haze until a rumbling quake knocks you onto your backside. Landwalker, what have you? <laughs> the captain leaps into your arms, and two of you clutch each other tightly as muscles contract violently beneath your feet. A surging contraction forces you up and out of the serpent's blow a hole like a gunshot. You shoot out the serpent's cavern and clear over the lagoon. The captain holds you tighter than a life buoy as you sail across the blue sky. The tiny harbor front below grows closer and closer until the hulking mass of a ship rushes up to meet you. With a crash of splintering wood and rushing water, everything goes black. Who caught us? Oh, the ship! <laughs> we got the ship! You regain your senses and get to your feet. Despite feeling a bit soggy, everything seems to be in working order. Behind you, the fish's base of operation has been cracked open like an egg. Fishermen are busy rescuing shell-shocked sailors from the waters. Oh my, what happened here? You, you didn't see it! A great bloody cannonball came rocketing out of the sky and stove in the captain's pride and joy! Poor girl didn't even stand a chance. I never seen a shot so powerful. I, I think all hands managed to get clear of the wreckage, though. All hands? What about the fish? The buccaneer wipes a single salty tear from his face. He points at something familiar that has washed up on the nearby shore. You know what they say. The captain always goes down with his ship. <sighs> As I am on his ship! Oh, there it is. Thank you. It appears to be the bicorn captain's last or ca the bicorn captain's hat last worn by the fish, waterlogged by and shot through with splinters. You reach down to pick it up, but it flops on the sand like some beach sea creature. The soul of the fish. That's all of them. You sense the souls of the fish, cat, rat, and ram pulse with captive malignancy. The goat will be wanting to to take custody of these four. Best not to keep them waiting. Let's go home! Aww! Gosh, she's so disheveled. You find the captain and his daughter in a loving embrace. Oh, Da, I just knew you'd come back. My sweet little sea star. I'm so sorry I made you wait for so long. Can you ever forgive this old washup? 
Aww, so cute! I love them. What happened to Dawes' ship? Ah, uh, it's good to feel dry land under my feet. I actually want to do a couple of things. First, I want to check on this mermaid. Is she, like, chill with us? And then I want to see if we can go see the serpent again? I want to see if he's going to be- Oh, the mermaid's gone. Oh, maybe the serpent is gone too then. It doesn't hurt to check. And then we'll go return um, the goat. Or the sh to the goat shrine thingy majingy. We'll use the heart seed though. So I ain't walking all the way back. I'm too lazy. Sorry. That was a good one. I didn't realize we were gonna cannonball. <laughs> so we just killed him. We murdered. That was our murder. The blood is on our cauldron. Are we. Is he available? Oh, he is. Oh, he is. I wanna go say hi to him. Is he gonna be mad at me? Do you feel better, Mr. Serpent? How are you feeling? He's still here. Hello? Oh. Um. I'm not really interested. What? 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 <laughs> uh, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think this was supposed to. Um what was happening uh hey you're back you like it here uh am i can i interact his teary eyes look hopeful oh all right bye <laughs> time to go home what i guess that's a little bit of a bug that's fine i mean who would really walk all the way to um <laughs> to go check on the serpent after that it's a long walk it's a very long walk Ah, home sweet home. Man, look at this place. I live like Shrek, dude. Can I, like, clean up a little? Hire a, you know, gardening service? Anything? A nice pool would be nice. Uh, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Mr. Go! I'm back! The goat snorts with delight at your approach. I don't remember what voice I gave you. Wonderful. You returned with more souls. These were even more troublesome than the last. I will be glad to be rid of them. If you would be so kind, bring them to the shrine. Then we will st be one step closer to concluding our business together. The bronze bell. Ooh, his ugly little face. The clanging of the ram's bronze bell rings out in your ears. Many voices chanting in unison. Grabbing hands, trampling feet, cat skin boots. The machinations of the cat unfold before you as her boots burn away before the shrine. Pieces moving on a game board. Cheats. Laughter. Lies. Rat knot. Ooh. Sensations of the rat fill your mind. Tiny feet scratching at crumbling walls. Digging cold earth. Snapping brittle bones. Taking. Stealing. Hiding. The captain's cat. You hold your breath as the salty feeling of the fish washes over you. The sound of creaking wood, jagged barnacles, crashing waves, fading light, betrayal. Ooh. Oh, I can't move. Your shoulders straighten as if a great weight is lifted from them. The maiden stirs in her sleep, troubled by fitful dreams. Only four more left until our contract is fulfilled. Four! Jeez! But I expect it has been a tiring day. Come, you should get some sleep. Yes, I could rest. Oh, good night. I wonder why he puts us to sleep. I wonder what the point is of us going night night. Good morning! Oh my gosh, I've been so tired. Working all day. I can't mess with it. Oh wait, that not that the painting in the... In the, um... Haunted Mansion? I think it was. Mr. Goat? You step out into the morning mist and find the goat with a mouthful of grass. Terrible tasting stuff. I don't understand this creature's appetite. With luck, you won't have to suffer the mortal whims of a farm animal much longer. After I collect the last souls, you can go back to the void from which you came. Ah, the void can wait. You're much better company anyway. But you are correct. There is only one leg left to our journey. The 
final four souls have revealed themselves to me. Where are they this time? Three linger in spaces you've already tread. The village, the market, and the fields. And the fourth resides far to the north on the cold slopes of the mountain. I'll track them down no matter where they try to hide. Marvelous. Ooh! Okay, so now we got the hogs. I do remember the hogs just a tiny bit. I remember... I think they deal with something about the butchery. Don't remember much more. The stag, I remember. The wolf. The wolf is... Ooh, the wolf is... Ooh, I'm glad the wolf is last, because I think that one's the, like weirdest one i have i did not even know a hawk was even in this game i'm gonna be honest like i said before i i don't know if i ever kept it in videos but i have played this game before but it was literally like years ago Ye i don't even know when this game came out but it was years ago since i last played i don't have a great memory so that's why i'm replaying it now the hawk i do not remember i i didn't even know there was a hawk in this game so that's gonna be fun but i do remember a little bit about the hogs i do remember the stag and the wolf so that's gonna be so much fun! Oh, I'm so excited! This is the final stretch of this, uh, I guess, little episode that we've been going through, the little episodes that I've been making. It's been such a good journey so far. Oh, it's gonna be so weird for it to end, but I'm excited, so that means I could try, like, new things, because I've been trying to keep it to where, like, kind of one series at a time. I didn't want to overload my channel with, like, multiple series and make it look all confusing and whatnot. So this will be uh, fun, and I just can't wait to uh, finish it up and, you know, try something new. So thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and watching all the way through. Um, I appreciate you guys, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one.